Here's my second big announcement. Do you want to see something really cool? Jere and Loom. I like your lip. Hello guys and welcome to this incredibly exciting video. If you have read the title, you would know that we are moving all of my horses to a new property, which is crazy and potentially quite unexpected for you guys. Even for me, it was, it wasn't something that was planned even like six months ago. But yeah, basically we have the opportunity of renting a horse property and making this whole thing more of an actual business because at k1 unfortunately it just wasn't really working with the number of horses i had with being in the horse industry with trying to ride horses year round because there was just certain times of the year like in the middle of winter where i literally couldn't even have the horses anywhere near the stable like they would be up in the back paddocks up like two kilometers away it would take me half an hour just to walk up and get them and then walk them all the way back down and then all the way back up after they had been worked so particularly with young horses it just really wasn't working so i was having to walk them you know in amongst the vines all the time which didn't really work when you're trying to train like green green babies worked all right with flume because he's so quiet but with others it just wasn't really working and also the horses kind of ruin the land a little bit like because it's only really the wet parts that have the horses or like smaller paddocks the ground was just not really holding up very well with them and so there was sort of this unanimous decision to move them to a different property so it is extremely exciting but we're gonna have to be working very hard obviously to upkeep all of this which I'm currently in now in the stable and also make it better suited for us and kind of do some things up and add a lot of things and so that's why it's also going to be super exciting to share it all with you guys because there will be a lot of before and afters and all that sort of thing we have already done some things with it but not heaps and heaps so I will be doing like a barn tour before I do too much more to the place because then you can kind of see a before and after see how the property is set up etc because I find those sort of videos extremely interesting so I thought you guys might as well but today we are moving Flume and Jerry to the new property because they are the quietest horses I have and I thought that's probably the best thing to do because then they can kind of settle down and they can be settled and when the others come like Clifford and Dex it will be like a zen vibe you know and then anyway Evie the broodmare she will be coming tomorrow so yes crazy new things happening and I really hope you enjoy this video Yay. It may look warm, but it's actually pretty chilly. Hey, Flemmy. Hey, Bloom. So messy in here. And yeah, they started coming out. It's great. I need to fix them all. He literally like rams himself on floats now. <laughs> funny he's like get me on all in and ready for the new home hey you excited guys bloom's like ha i got some hay now but right, see this jerry i have hay too Yutch. the neighbor's pony's like oh who's this then what's happening so welcome guys, welcome to our horse area. This is a very small portion of it, but it's the stables and the arena. We have not yet worked out how to do the, the whole turning around thing here. So I'm not gonna film that yet because I'm not that talented. I've practiced a lot of backing in my time, but yeah, filming and backing at the same time probably kind of hard that may include a lot of swearing not gonna lie 
if that was the case. So I'm thinking I might just put them in the yards for now because then they're a little bit more secure and there's lots of grass in there as you can see. Hey Chess. Hey Flume. This is so exciting, isn't it? Hey. Now the knowing when to back out is not so good. Oh, that was actually all right. And then he just goes, oh, I guess, I guess, guess I'll come out slowly. Horse number one in unhappy. Now for horse number two. I can't even explain to you guys how hectic today has been, but honestly, I love it. I love being so busy that I can't even like comprehend anything else. <laughs> that sounds so morbid, but it's just like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it was my upbringing or something. Like I just have to be doing something all of the time. Cannot chill in the slightest unless I'm just catching up with friends, which I think is why I appreciate that so much because it's just like, otherwise I'm just constantly going the whole time. But also I know full well that it's like a thing that like YouTubers nowadays, they're like, oh my God, I'm so busy today. And they literally have a nail appointment, get their hair done and go shopping. And they're like, oh my God, so busy. Like I've been to Pilates and got my nails done and just like, I'm so tired. A lot of the stuff I do is all small things or like small decisions, like chaotically organizing things and just like moving on to the next task, which takes a lot out of me. But like, I've somewhat got used to it. Max is putting up some Christmas tree lights. Settled in their yards for the night. Hey Debbie! I really didn't think about this whole bucket situation. So we have Flume's water as that. He is still very upset about the fact that he got shocked because he has never had the wattage of this fence. So it's just like, what was that? And then, why'd you do that, Jerry? I didn't have a bucket for Jerry, only for his water, which I need to fill up again. So I used our Christmas light box and he's tipped it all over the ground. So that was pointless. Oh, doesn't it look so pretty from here? The lights on. Boys all settled, borrowed dad's wire cutters and I am heading down to this back paddock because a halter was left rusted on the fence so I need to get it off i'm glad i'm doing this now and not in the daylight because last time i came down here i was so paranoid about snakes i was bitten once when i was a baby and well not baby like eight years old and thank god it was a dry bite so i didn't actually you know die <laughs> wire cutters did not work not strong enough need an angle grinder <laughs> Morning boys, new paddock feels. It's the next morning and I'm just letting them out into slightly bit of bigger paddocks. You can see. So, oh, this is nice. Some green grass. <laughs> Taking Evie home now. Her boyfriend Stallion that's not gonna be very happy about her leaving, I assume. Taking the girl home. I want the mare. Just assessing his new life. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Very relaxed. So this is officially the new pony's property and where we are living. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Can't wait to share with you more of this property. So exciting, still literally like pinching myself about it. But yeah, I will be bringing out the barn tour soon. The like before barn tour. And then if you guys want it, maybe I can like show the house. Been doing some, some little designing things with some little horse additions here and there because you know you have to but yes thank you for watching and supporting i know 
it's been so long since I've consistently posted on YouTube, so I really do appreciate the support. You guys are amazing. Anyway, bye guys. On oh, PS, this new color of heart just came out on the HLH Equestrian website. Woo!